this is well hi I'm Mr. Sneed and this is Meet the Teacher Knight and this is Math 1. In this video I'll provide some information about my class and um, the things that you need. Um, first thing I'll talk about is grading for Math 1. Grading um, tests slash performance tasks are make up 60% of the grade. Um, performance tasks are things that the students do in a group that um, isn't necessarily connected with what they're currently learning but ties with things that they have learned. Um, homework slash participation makes up 20% of the grade. Participation consists of um, the work that they're doing in class if they are have their phones out while they're working, if they're sitting there doing nothing, um, if they're answering questions, that sort of stuff. So their participation in class. 15% um, is the Edpuzzle videos. All my notes are done through Edpuzzle videos that I've created myself and the students will watch the videos in class while they're watching them. I go around, check homework and assist them on things that they're having difficulties with. Um, and then the final exam is 5% for a total of 100%. Hopefully I did my math right. Homework. Homework is graded on effort. So what you should be looking for is did they attempt every problem on the homework assignment? Um, as long as they have attempted every problem on the homework assignment, they should be getting full credit. Um, attempting doesn't mean, though, just writing random stuff down. It really means that it looks like they put some effort in and tried and maybe got stuck on a step and just stopped at that step um, so that they can ask a question. But it should look like math work and not just random stuff written down. Um, homework in is checked on uh, in class on a daily basis Incomplete homework can be made up before the day of the topic test so it, For instance, we're in topic 1.1 and their test is next week on Tuesday so any work that is not completed prior to that um, they can ha complete it by the Monday and turn it into me and still get full credit. After Monday, on the day of the test, I won't accept any of the work. Um, homework is inputted into Google Classroom regularly and imported uh, into Aries at least once a week. Google Classroom. So some of the things you need to know about Google Classroom is um, that is where all the scores go for the, uh, initially. So if you want to see on a daily basis if your kid is doing their work or your child is doing their work, um, you want to go into have them go into their Google Classroom, click on Classwork, and pull the assignments up and show you that um, it's either been graded and they have a score, like Ed Puzzle videos, they should have a score um, next to their name, or it is an assignment like this where if it's not graded they either have it posted in Google Classroom because they were absent um, or they um, have it in hand and you can actually open up the worksheet itself and look to see that they've completed you know see what it is and ask them to show you it so you can check and see that they have it completed um, the other thing to know on the homework is some of the assignments have this one here. Some of the assignments have. Well, I don't have the worksheet on this one. Never mind. that I pull up that are supposed to have it don't have it 
but there should be a black section on, their, on it that talks about skills practice. So if there is a black section, that is talking about um, that is talking about what pages they do out of the skills practice that we send home. So other than that, that's Google Classroom. Um, supplies that they'll need are one inch binder to put their pages in, a pencil, pins uh, of more than one color so that they can use it to as an accent if I'm writing in multiple colors to help them see something, they could follow along with the, with the pins if they wanted to. Um, and then graphing calculators. For the majority of the year, we will use Desmos for most of our calculator work. If we don't use Desmos, we'll use another online calculator. Um, so you won't necessarily need to buy a TI-8483. So, but those are other ones, if you are you know, eager about buying one, these are what you would buy them. Um, where to get help? Tutoring is, I offer tutoring, yeah, my tutoring is every day at lunch during, every day at lunch, during the breaks, and before school from 6.50 to 7.20. Uh, Mondays are, are different because there's no zero period, so my uh, um, tutoring is from 7.30 to 8.25 in the mornings. And how to check up on your student. You have my email here. Um, like I said, Google Classroom. And then Parent Portal should be updated at least once a week so you can check in there and see like what their overall grade looks like. And that is all I have for you. Have a great evening. Um, when the video finishes, I'll leave time for you guys to ask questions.